Royal Navy wants three new build mine hunting motherships it has emerged that the RN plans to acquire up to three survivable, non-complex warships designed from the outset to be motherships for autonomous mine hunting boats. Non-complex warships the requirement for four offshore support vessels, OSV, or motherships to support future mine hunting capability, MHC, has been known for some time. Although they were penciled into the national shipbuilding strategy, it was unclear if the three final vessels would be light-touch merchant ship conversions, similar to RFA Sterling Castle, heavily modified merchant ships, or new build vessels. Assuming funding is approved, it's clear the RN wants warships built to a bespoke design that will fly the White Ensign and be HMS, possibly continuing the Castle-class nomenclature. The RN wants the motherships built to higher damage control and survivability standards than would come from a merchant ship conversion. It can be assumed that these ships will have some self-defense capability, military communications fit, and sensors more sophisticated than just a navigational radar. The level of self-defense capability has yet to be defined but potentially could comprise more than just crew-serve light weapons. It is increasingly obvious that any naval vessel on the drawing board today should include powerful counter UAV slash UES capabilities as a baseline. MHC Block 2 RFA Sterling Castle has conducted some initial trials but her limitations in the intended role are already apparent. Her purchase was very good value for money and provides an excellent testbed for MHC Block 1 which is the Pathfinder program for bringing autonomous mine hunting into our end service. More details of progress with Block 1 in a future article. MHC Block 2 will be considerably more ambitious and requires motherships of sufficient capability to match. RFA Sterling Castle lacks a dedicated launch and recovery systems, LARS. Other than a crane and the 600 square meters working deck is not sufficiently large. Deck space of at least 1,000 square meters is needed to accommodate the USVs, UVs, portable operations center and supporting kit that makes up a mission module. In a live mine warfare operation covering a large area, to achieve the equivalent, and ideally better, effect than existing MCMVs, will require multiple USVs to be deployed. This demands a big deck with plenty of space for the toolkit. Future USVs may evolve to be larger than the 12-15M boats of the first generation and the motherships will need LARs of sufficient size to accommodate them. Robust LARs that can handle uncrewed boats weighing several tons in challenging sea states and strong winds are specialist items of equipment, and there are several companies already offering advanced solutions. A stern ramp may also provide an alternative launch-slash-recovery option depending on weather conditions and the type of craft. <laughs>